The question is, uh, what is the update on the treatment of polycythemia vera with alpha interferon? So for 30 years since uh, we introduced uh, interferon for the treatment of PV, there have been many phase two trials and single arm studies of PV, both in the United States conducted by us and others, and especially in Europe uh, conducted by our friends and colleagues there. This uh, unhappily was not satisfactory for uh, regulatory approval. And so finally there have been two major phase two, excuse me, phase three studies that have recently been reported. The first is by uh, my colleague and friend, Heinz Ginslinger in Austria, who conducted the so-called Conti PV study and showed that interferon was superior in high risk PV patients as defined by the European leukemia net as high risk uh, was superior to hydroxyurea. And that study has been now uh, been underway for about five years. And it shows that interferon is superior to hydroxyurea because it causes a better hematologic response and a better uh, reduction in the jack 2 allele burden. It probably has less toxicity over the long term than hydroxyurea. And now we know that, not from this study specifically, but by beginning by, by three to five years, you can get definite morphologic response in the bone marrow with restoration of normal marrow architecture, as shown by our group and confirmed by the group at MD Anderson. The other very important study was that by the Italians, led by my good friend and colleague, Professor Tiziana Babui, who showed that in early polycythemia vera, as defined by the European leukemia net, or low-risk patients, who traditionally have been treated in many centers by phlebotomy only, a method we don't particularly favor, that interferon is superior to phlebotomy only because it reduces the phlebotomy requirement. It, it also leads to, a, to the, the sustenance of the sustaining of the hematocrit at a, at a level of 45% or less. And there is a reduction in symptoms as compared to phlebotomy only patients. So that trial has only been reported as, as of a year, but is continuing and we look forward to uh, more results as the study goes along. So finally, we have phase three studies, which hopefully will satisfy the regulatory agencies. And in fact, in Europe, the study by Dr. Gisslinger has been approved by the European authorities, not as yet in the United States or Canada, hopefully so uh, soon. Uh, a study that is underway, sponsored by a pharmaceutical company known as Pharmacentia, is comparing the use of interferon and anegrolide in patients with uh, essential thrombocythemia or polycythemia vera uh, to ropeg interferon. That is a monopegylated interferon. That means it has only one isoform of interferon compared to 10 or 11 in other forms of interferon and it's bound to a proline uh, pegylation, and thus it allows for administration every two to four weeks. So that's a great advantage to the patient. And theoretically, these uh, delayed injections may lead to a sustained blood level and higher activity throughout the treatment period. That study is underway, a very exciting study that's being conducted worldwide uh, and results are accruing.